Merry Christmas, you two. And Merry Christmas, everybody out there in at your leisure land. We are in the Jungle Lands. We are at the San Diego Zoo, and we are going to go through an exhibit here called Jungle Bells. It's what they do at the holiday season here at the zoo. Plus, we're gonna show you all the other cool things that happen at the San Diego Zoo. You ready? Yeah, because we get to play with some animals. Uh, yeah, I hope not the gorillas. Let's go. <laughs> Jungle Bells, we stay open later than we normally do in our winter hours. Of course, we have it all decked out in decoration. We have different bands and entertainment. Dr. Zoolittle is our sort of our resident educator, has some great story time with kids. It has sort of a wildlife theme holiday in it. That's right, and you talk about Christmas memories. How fun and how unique. They've got lights all over the zoo at Christmas, and they got all these little jungle critters. They're not the actual jungle critters. They're like cartoon critters of the lions and the different animals, and they'll come up and take pictures with you. So it's a really great tradition here in San Diego to come on in for Jungle Bells, have a nice time, see the zoo at nighttime. Rhea, what was your favorite part of the zoo? You know, honestly, when we were able to interact with the animals, mm -hmm. I thought that was awesome. They have that special zoo package where they can bring you back there and you can go and play with the animals and feed them. Um, the tortoises, those Galapagos uh, tortoises were outstanding, like 120, 130 year old. My favorite was the polar bear, because uh -huh. most of the time when I've seen polar bears, they've just been kind of sitting around like a lump. Occasionally they'll walk around, but we had one of the polar bear twins in the water playing with a ball, and and he looked he had, had so much fun playing with that ball, and every now and then he'd stop and look at the kids with their face up against the glass. You know, the reason this is such a great place to come down with your family is because this is not a looking zoo like you traditionally expect. This place is really interactive. But they also have a children's zoo section that's all about touching, seeing, listening, and getting up close with animals. And then the instruction that goes with it, because they've got so many curators at the zoo. Your kids come away smarter than when they went in, not just entertained. Well, the great thing about the San Diego Zoo is that when you arrive and when you leave and that space in between, you've had a lot of fun. But when we sneak in on you, we don't hit you over the head too hard, but we sneak in on you some education as well. We want you not only to fall in love with these cute, adorable, and amazing animals that we're surrounded by, but also learn about maybe some of the challenges some may have in the wild, and what then you can do in your own day-to-day -day activities to kind of shift the paradigm a little bit and how we impact the world around us. You know, Rhea, I like the way that the zoo is organized because it's not just hit and miss. They take all of the Arctic region and put all the animals together. You can look at the regions of the zoo. And, and it's not confusing when you're touring around. Even no. if you don't have a guide to help you out, it's not confusing at all. You know exactly where you're going. You get to see our bioclimatic zones. What that mm -hmm. essentially means is if you're coming to see tigers, you're going to see reptiles and birds and other mammals that would live in that same area as the tiger, along with the plants. We are a registered botanical garden. We have plants from all over the world, some that are nearly 100 years old because they were brought in when the zoo first opened. If those animals could smile, they're all smiling. I really have never been to a zoo where I've seen so many happy animals. I don't really consider what I do work. Uh, I am so passionate about what I do that even if I wasn't here at the San Diego Zoo, I would be doing what I do. What keeps me here is the fact that not only am I surrounded by animals every day, and I do consider this my home, uh, but also the work we do outside of our fence line. You know, it is a great zoo, it's a wonderful experience, but I'm really passionate about what we do on a conservation level as well. We've been responsible for putting animals back out in the wild and monitoring them and staying with them, making sure they are able to sustain life in the wild as well. Uh, those type of things, those are the things that make a difference. And if I can inspire other people to help make that difference with us, then I'm doing great. Put it on your agenda, make sure that you get out and discover this one. Hey guys, if you like that video, you're going to want to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're going to want to like it, you're going to want to share it, and you're going to want to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're going to want to do, click, right? Click, click, click. on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you going to sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you want to click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.